What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Henry and I focus on faith, fashion, skin, and lifestyle. So if you're interested in any of those items, please hit the subscribe button along with the bell notification so you won't miss when I upload a video. And lastly, like, comment, and share. That will be a great big help to me. Today's video is going to be a random unboxing which is not sponsored by any of these brands. But I wanted to share with you guys some of the items that I purchased um, during the holiday season. So if you love unboxing videos, just like this one, go ahead and stick around. Okay guys, so we're just going to jump right into it. I'm going to um, uh, go with um, the first brand, and this is um, not in no particular order, okay? So the first item that we have is from XI, XI, and XI, XI is a jewelry brand created by Adrian Hope. Um, you know her as Adrian Bailon from 3LW, she was a Cheetah Girl, she used to date a um, Rob Kardashian, but now she has moved on to bigger and better things, and she is um, married to Israel Holton, who is um, a famous, I guess you could say, producer, songwriter, uh, singer, um, and they make really good music together. But this is the box, and um, let's see, we also have some I thought that that was really nice, all right? So we open up the box, a the paper here, and it, um, I ordered a total of, it was a total of four pieces. One of the pieces was a gift from my mom. I'll be sure to um, add a um, picture so you guys can see that. But this is the, uh, the box that it came in. I'll just bring it up closer because they're both the same. So it says um, XI, XI, XI in the middle, and then um, Adrian Holt as well. And then on the back, it says I love NYC, all right? These boxes are really, really adorable. So if you um, have a place to store your, your jewelry, you can use these boxes for something else. I don't know, chains, sewing stuff, I don't know. But whatever you choose to put in here, it's great. Or you can use these as jewelry boxes, okay? So when you open up the box, you have, um, it says Northeast Side NYC Vladek Houses, and then it has the num these numbers, and the, those are the coordinate numbers, I believe, which display a position on the map, right? And you also have um, a piece of foam that's protecting the actual um, piece of jewelry. So I'm just gonna remove the, um, the foam here, and um, believe me when I say this, the necklace does not come the way it it comes um, the way I'm showing you um, right now. It actually is. Um, they have like these indentions here, so the necklace can actually hang. But I couldn't wait, and I had already removed it from you know the way it um, it, it came, so I can you know try it on and see what it looks like, and see if I liked it or not. But the first um, piece is this gold. Nicholas. And like I say, this is um, the Figaro, um, Elias Figaro chain. And this one is in gold. This, uh, the other one is in silver. All right, and the pricing for this, I'll be sure to like all of this stuff, but the pricing for this was um, $24.99. I didn't pay that because um, I got this during Black Friday. So I don't remember how much I paid, but online is $24.99. Okay. But anyway, this is it in gold. All right. Um, I purchased this because I wanted something simple. I wanted something that was going to stand out, but I wanted something that was, you know, simple, something that was going to uh, represent me and not uh, be entirely too much. I didn't want anything um, that wasn't really realistic. So, you know, we got these rappers that wear these chains with these cartoon characters on them or like this big stuff. That's not realistic to me. That's just silly. But anyway, um, so this is it in gold, and you do get four little nodges, um, or uh, loops, I should say. One, two, three, yeah, I guess you could say, yeah, four. There's four um, loops here that you can use to actually attach the necklace, um, you know, so you can either make it shorter, or you can make it uh, longer, however you choose to wear it, all right? And then here it does say XI, XI, um, on the end, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it does have that. Okay, guys, so this is what the necklace looks like on 
Um, and maybe I can, let me just come a little closer so you guys can see. But this is what it looks like on. All right, so this is it in the gold. Um, and this actually feels really nice. It's not too heavy, but it's not too light. The quality of this is really nice. I feel like this will um, last, uh, you know, years to come. Um, so for the price that you're paying, which is $24.99, I feel like this is really, really good quality, okay? So before you actually go out and spend, I don't know, X amount of dollars on a real piece of um, jewelry, I say try um, going with XIXI, you know, they, they make um, really good um, jewelry in my opinion. It, it, this is my first time actually wearing, but by me trying this on, I just feel like this is really, really great uh, quality. Um, and I feel like any and everybody would actually enjoy this. So I'm just going to take this off. But this is it in the gold. So we're moving right along and we're going to um, unbox the silver. So this is the same box, same I love you, um, NYC. Alright, you do get the phone here um, to, for protection. And then this is what it looks like with the silver. Same design, just different um, color, which is the silver. Um, like I said, it's really nice. The quality of it is really, really nice. Um, uh, I think I stated that this reminds me of the 90s because um, I'm definitely in love with the 90s. So we're going to just try to put this one on. And this is what it looks like in um, the silver. I'll come closer so you guys can see too as well. So this is what it looks like in the silver. Again, same great quality. Um, the color of this is um, really nice um, as, as well. So it doesn't look like it's chipping or anything like that. It just, it's just really, really good, good quality. And I would recommend anybody to purchase um, from XIXI. The name of the site, I believe, is shopxixi.com. But I'll be sure to link, you know, all of this um, stuff down below. So if you are, well, the holidays are over with, but there's always next um, next year, God willing. Um, these will make great um, Christmas gifts. Um, but right now, there's a lot of birthdays that's getting ready to roll around. There's um, graduations that's getting ready to come up here in the spring. Um, you may have a, a wedding um, to attend, or maybe you just want to give somebody a nice just because gift. So, with that being said, you got the silver, and then you have the gold. And then, like I said, I'll be sure to um, link the stuff down below and actually link the site and stuff so you can see what other items that they have to offer. So the next item um, that I have, I'm excited to show as well. Um, so it comes like this in the actual plastic. Just gonna remove the plastic. And this is the box. Now the box is the same, well it's not the same. It has suede and it says Adrian Fulton XIXI, but it's in, you know, the suede um, material. Here. So that's really nice. So you can tell that this is, um, something a little bit more luxurious. It does, again, come with that little foam piece. I'm just gonna remove that. And then I'm going to show you the actual necklace. Now this is how the neck, um, the other two necklaces actually came, but this is the necklace. And I'm gonna come closer so you guys can see. And this is considered as the Harper um, necklace in Sapphire. So that's what it looks like. And this actually reminds me of, I'm going to take it out the box, but this actually reminds me of, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, but um, Princess Diana, her engagement ring was that blue sapphire ring, and I feel like this is the inspiration behind it, but this is the, um, the, uh, the, the necklace here, okay, this is the chain. And it comes with that sapphire stone along with like um, these other stones going around it. I know it's kind of hard to see because of the lighting, but that's all right. So that's what it looks like. And then you, um, in order to put it on, you just um, um, unhook it. So you undo it like 
effect and then it'll come apart okay now some um you know obviously guys necks are uh thicker than women but even for women if you do have a thicker neck this may not work for you um so you might want to try you know something a little different but if you have i'm not trying to say you have to have a skinny neck but you just want to make sure you have a comfortable neck um to uh, wear this because you don't want you don't want this to feel like this is um choking you all right so this is the necklace um this was actually it's 40 dollars, but um again like i said i bu um, bought this stuff during black friday so i really don't remember how much um i paid for this um and they didn't put it on the invoice but anyway this is what the necklace looks like this is going to be for one of my friends and yeah okay guys so the next item that i have are a pair of sunglasses from sunglass hut all right so this is the bag that it came um it came in all right i purchased these during uh the holidays these were i believe um 30 percent off so i'm just gonna uh get the see here this is um usually when you purchase they give you um the protection plan i guess if you do purchase the protection plan you do get um this little booklet here um and it co the coverage is cracked frames cracked or scratched lens normal wear and tear defects um and material and workmanship and so it'll tell you more about that on the inside so if you are going to purchase some sunglasses from um, sunglass hut I would advise you to go with the um, protection plan all right so the sunglass um, sunglasses that I purchased um, they retail for 253 but they took 30% um, off so that brought that down to 177.10 So anyway, and I ended up getting the protection plan, so that brought everything to 214.83, okay? Um, and so let's go ahead. So if you ever purchase Versace, this is what the box looks like, all right? This is the um, um, box, this is what it looks like. It just says Versace, um, engraved, and then it has the Medusa um, head. And a little fun fact while I'm, um, ready to unbox this the reason why the medusa is their logo is mainly because um we all know about medusa medusa, medusa was a, a, a greek goddess and i can't remember the whole um story behind it but if you looked at her you turned into stone and so he used this logo because when you see he wanted people to look at versace and never take their eyes off of it and so that's what most people um, when it came to Medusa, Medusa, you looked at her, you know, you would continuously look at her and eventually you'll turn in, into stone. So what he's trying to do is um, hypnotize you, so to speak, um, with his pieces. Okay, so anyway, this is the box here. And then this is the case. So if you've purchased from um, Versace, um, you're very familiar with this, all right? So you do get the um, the care information, which is important. I believe this is care information here. And then you also are going to get the, um, this is the authentication um, information as well. So I guess it comes in um, different languages. Okay, so you got the certificate of warranty and then But I also believe that this is the authentication um, card here. It comes with like a little code. And then you also get the uh, cleaning cloth. The cleaning cloth just says Versace and it has the Medusa head um, engraved in there as well. All right. So this is the box. And these are the So right in here, it just says Versace. I saw these online uh, online i don't know um 
if you guys ever experienced this, but I was um, on Instagram and you know how they have ads for different things. And I saw the ad for Sunglass Hut and these were on, um, on the ad. And I got up and I went to take her outlet and um, I asked the lady, do you guys have these? And she was like, oh, I don't know, let me check. And then she was like, damn. These glasses, this style, or the size of sunglasses I typically wouldn't go for but these kind of remind me of the 90s in a sense so I was like let me go ahead and give them a try um but they're just plain um black sunglasses I don't know if these are, would be considered I guess like a rectangle-ish um type of style but then you also have like the gold um these on the side that's what really caught my eye attention you can see like the gold beam. all right so let me try more and i'm gonna come a little closer so you guys can see what's up all right so these are the sunglasses uh i feel like with these these would be nice to wear like at the edge of the nose and so uh, like you can see the um, v on the temple and i think these will make a really great um statement if you're wearing like an all black number or something um these would just kind of like elevate the look right so um yeah so these are the glasses i don't know if they have a name um they don't have a name on the inside but um i'll be sure to link these down below in the description box um so you can actually um purchase they may be on sale they may not be on sale but who knows so anyway these are what the sunglasses look like tell me guys tell me tell me what you think um, about these down in the comment section I definitely appreciate it so the next item that we have on the list are a pair of um, sunglasses as well these are by the brand uh, Desi if I'm saying that correctly and that's the box that's what the box uh, looks like and I came across this brand looking at one of my favorite um, youtubers slash instagrammers um, stories her name is um, well her Instagram and YouTube name is Hilo Lux, but her name is um, Janae. And I really enjoy um, watching her content and, you know, just seeing how she puts things together. But I looked at her story and she was, um, you know, talking about the sunglasses that she purchased. And I was like, well, I have to give me a pair of, of you know, of those. So, um, and these are actually bomb. Like, um, great quality sunglasses for well i'm not gonna say they're cheap but <clears throat> they're uh less than what i paid for for the um, versace ones okay so anyway i'm just gonna well that was just a little bit of packaging that just came out you can't really see the inside of the box but it's very modern very um high fashion-esque but um, I would show you the inside of the box, but it's kind of hard to see. But this is what the glasses, um, how they come. You get some plastic wrap here. And then the case just says Desi. So, well, not the case, the actual box. All right, so that's what the box looks like. I'm just gonna take these out of the box if I can. So we're just going to take this out of the box. Bear with me, y'all. This stuff is like hard to get out of the actual box. Okay, cool. So now you have the actual case for the sunglasses. It says Desi. The material is like, I'm smelling to see if it's leather or not, but I don't think this is real leather. But it's actually a really nice quality box. So this is what the box looks like. It's kind of like in maybe like a beige color, I guess. Um, it does come with a magnetic uh, flap here. So that's what that looks like. And as we unbox, it says Dizzy up here at the top. And of course, these are the actual sunglasses, all right? So before I um, take the sunglasses out, you do get a dust bag. This is like in a cream color. Um, and it just says Desi there at the bottom, and it's a drawstring. That's bad, okay? So, 
So I'm gonna take these out of the plastic here. So I can um, give you guys a full look as to what the glasses look like. Alright, so you get some little bit of packaging here on the on the temple. And these are the sunglasses here. And these are called backtrack. And this is what they look like, all right? So these are the temples here. Um, on the inside, it says Desi and it says established in 2020. So the brand is definitely new. So it says Desi there on the inside. And then the name of the sunglasses say backtrack, all right? And then I'm gonna put them on. This what the, this is what the glasses look like, y'all. These are definitely bomb. Um, I thought that, um, you know, these glasses were for women, but they're a they actually work um, for me, in my opinion. Um, I actually love these. So I'm going to hold on to these. I was thinking maybe I should give them away, but I'm going to hold on to these. I think these are actually dope. And I believe they give that gradient um, lens. So gradient is when they're dark at the top, light at the bottom so i always love that style and then in the corner you can see where it says desi um as you know most um branded sunglasses or luxury sunglasses they usually have the name sitting up there in the corner i think these were like 80 something dollars um i couldn't uh, i couldn't pass them up at all so thanks to janae hilo lux for um sharing with us she ordered I think three or four pair, but I just wanted these, um, these. All right, so tell me you guys what you think about these in the comment section. Moving right along, um, you can tell that we have a uh, pattern going on or an obsession. Um, we have next another pair of sunglasses. So this is the box. Um, as to, you know, what it looks like. It doesn't really have any branding on it. But these are the sunglasses, all right? And they're by the brand um, Key, all right? Re realistically, I want to say Quay, because that's how I've been pronouncing, but I've been saying it wrong. So these are the um, sunglasses. And then I also purchased um, a case, um, two for both pairs, all right? So... We'll just go ahead and do these pair of glasses first. All right, and they come in this clear case. The case is um, pretty durable, um, but I feel like you should get the harder case, but that's just me. Um, so it just says uh, heat at the top or in the center, and it does have a snap. Magnetic snap. Alright, keep that secure. Okay, and so when you uh, open it, it does come with like um, a cleaning, cleaning rag, and it just says key in gold engraved here. Um, the colors is like a highlighter yellow, a lime green, and maybe aqua. So that's your cleaning. All right, they come wrapped just like this, all right? And so what I'm just gonna do is I'm just going to wrap these. And this is what they look like. This little thing here, I think, I believe this is all care information. It just says, be, be sunny, stay shady, um, key Australian, okay? I'm gonna come closer so you guys can see. The name of these are called um, Fully Booked. Okay, so, um, the name is on the inside. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. And I say key here. All right. They also say key on each side of the temple. And they're in like this tortoiseshell um, design. Okay. So this is what they look like. They have the studs. Um, on each uh, side and then in the nose area. I chose these because one, the name represents these glasses, all right? Um, they're bold, 
They're brilliant. They are so cool. Definitely unisexed. They got that gradient lens. I don't know if you can tell. They're kind of dark right here, light at the bottom, which I love. Um, and the frames are just amazing. I have a big forehead, so I tend to go for larger frames. I know I got a little hairline situation and we're working on that. It's slowly coming back, but that's another video for a different day. Let me know if y'all want me to make that video. But anyway, the focus is on these sunglasses and I love these so much. And I probably won't um, give them away. So these are the first pair of the fully booked um, sunglasses. I'm gonna move right into the second pair of the fully booked uh, sunglasses as well. <clears throat> Same concept, clear case, magnetic um, situation here, kind of keep them secure. And then it says key um, on the center. They come wrapped. You do get that cleaning, um, that cleaning rag. So that's the, uh, the cleaning rag here. And then, we're just gonna unwrap all of this. If I can. All right. These are the second pair of fully booked in um, black, all right? So I'm gonna come closer again so you guys can see what's going on. Again, you got the studs here and they're also on the nose. They're a little smudgy right now because, you know, I touched them and stuff, so I need to clean them. But anyway, this is what they look like. Um, again, you got key here on one side and you have key on the other side. And they have key on the inside and then they say the name of the glass is fully booked. Okay, so again, um, I had to get these. These were... Um, Black on um, Black Friday, I believe I purchased these, and I paid 160, no 65, I think, for each um, each item. And then I also purchased. Um, I'm just gonna. They're, they're the same, same coat and everything. But I also purchased these. Uh, what's it called? Cases for the sunglasses. Okay. We're just gonna remove it from the packaging. All right, and then um, on the actual case, it just says Key um, Australia, and it's really, really soft. I don't know if this is real leather. I don't think it's real leather, because this was really cheap. I think I paid like $10, $20 for this maybe, but that's what the case looks like. And then it has a magnetic flap, as you can see fold it down like this, fold, um, pull it out, and then it has like these flaps right here that are kind of like, I guess, in little flaps. And you pull it out, and your glasses, which I'll show you, go on the inside. So I'm just going to fold these down real quick. So they fit right in to, you know, that little flap, and then you just take it and fold the case down. That's what it looks like all right and so when you're done let's just say you're taking your sunglasses off at the moment you push those flaps on the side inward push that in and then you fold that 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 down this down over and it goes back to its natural state so you can actually um use um or i'm sorry put those in your bag um, or your purse or whatever the case may be when you are done all right so these are the sunglasses again i'll be sure to link everything down below so the next item that i have um the box didn't come like this but it was like this box inside of another box i didn't give the other box away um but this is what it looks like and i'm excited to actually um share with you guys these um, I'm a fan. I'll say I'm a fan. I I'm a fan. I like some of her um, music, but when I first heard that she was releasing, um, excuse me, some of her or, or releasing vinyls, um, I just had to jump on it. Um, I just feel like that was my um, 
childhood. So right now we have some Mariah Carey finals here. All right. So I'm just gonna go with, and I'm gonna come closer. So we have um, this is her um, album uh, Emotions, and this y'all know this is her second album. All right. So this is her second album. This is her second album. That's what it looks like. If you're a Mariah Carey fan, you know what this album looks like. The sticker just says remastered at 24-bit high-res audio vinyl. Um, recreated from the original release featuring emotions. Make it happen and let it go. And it says MC30. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Alright, and that's the back with the track listing. Alright, so we're just going to move on to the next item all right so the next one that i have um i've always wanted for some strange reason when i was um younger um but if you grew up in a um black household in the 90s um early 2000s what have you um your parents didn't allow you to listen to secular music so you had to listen to the radio or you went to a friend's house and that's how I um, was able to come in contact with some of these songs. But anyway, this is the um, the Rainbow album, um, remastered, 24-bit high-res audio for vinyl. Um, it says, we created from the original release, includes the hits, Heartbreaker, Future, and Jay-Z. The remix featuring the Brat and Missy Elliott, and I love that remix so much. She, Mariah's pretty much known for her um, remixes. And then it says, thank God I found you, Future and Joe, and 98 Degrees, and much more. So, we are familiar with this album, alright? So, that's the front. Alright. That's the back. And probably the back is the reason why I was able to purchase this. Alright? So, would you let your child purchase something that looks like this? I mean, it's not bad. It's tasteful. But at that time, you know... Um, I would say this is more tasteful than what we got going on today. All right, let me just say that. All right, and last but not least, we have the infamous Mariah Carey immense the emancipation of Mimi. Um, so this is what it looks like. Y'all know this is one of her greatest albums ever. She was nominated for multiple Grammys for this album. Now I don't think she got the recognition needed for this album i mean she did but when it comes to like grammys and things like that um they kind of you know they did her wrong but anyway this is what it looks like um and again it says limited edition um color vinyl now i would open these and i know this is supposed to be an unboxing but these are a delicacy and i don't know if she'll put these back in her vault and they won't be released until years later. I really don't know. But anyway, this is the back of the um, of the uh, of the vinyl, and you know they have um, some of our favorites. Like uh, it's like that. We belong together. Shake it off. Um, one of my favorites is Mine Again and Say Something. And um, Fly Like a Bird. That's another uh, um, great one. And then you have the We Belong Together um, remix. So yeah. So this is the um, the album. Now I ordered ordered a total of six, and I only got three. But I think because of um, COVID and you know the production of um, you know uh, shipping these and stuff like that, it's, it's kind of slow right now because of COVID. But the other three that I purchased is the butterfly. So we're familiar with butterfly. Um, we're familiar with. Um, well, I don't know if y'all, you guys are familiar with it, but I also purchased um, Me, I Am Mariah Carey, and then obviously the Merry Christmas album. I feel like that was um, a staple in the 90s because all I want for Christmas is you. When I would go to people's house, especially during the holidays, they had that CD and they probably had the CD because of, um, you know, the song. All right, moving right along to the next item. I think by looking at this, looking at this, you can tell what exactly what this might be. Alright, so it's another vinyl. And 
I'm just gonna just gonna do it. I know people are gonna say you should you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do you shouldn't do that, you should have waited. But I purchased two. Obviously, one for me and one for my friend. So this, my friends, is the homecoming live vinyl um box set. I guess that's what you can call it. So we know about the homecoming um, box set. Um, if you don't know, you've been living under a rock, but um, Beyonce was the first African female to headline Coachella, so that was a big thing. And um, she gave us the HBCU experience. Um, a lot of people were saying, well, how could she do the whole HBCU thing if she never went to an, an, um, an HBCU? But that's like saying, well, how can, um, uh, well, I can't say Gabrielle Union um, being bringing on that she never cheered because she was a cheerleader, but um, I don't think she was on that level um, or was never in that level of cheerleading the way the movie is. But anyway, um, she had a lot of different people that were um, in her performance that did actually go or graduated uh, from the HBCU. So she had all, you know, kind of um, help and then of course, you know, the videos on YouTube and different things like that to try to help her. But um, this is the um, the front and then the back has the, um, the uh, track listing, all right? Um, I purchased two, obviously one for me, and then I purchased one for my friend, um, so Tasha. I hope I, I hope I'm able to get this to you before um, you actually see this video. But if not, it's okay. I know you're going to be excited regardless when you see this. Um, again, I know that this is supposed to be an unboxing. This is a delicacy, okay? None of my vinyls are... Um, are open okay so um so this is a delicacy but i believe it is a i think it's a six piece um six vinyls are in here and then they do have like um, a booklet so they have pictures you know from the tour um, and stuff like that um i don't own a vinyl record i'm on the hunt for one maybe i can go to um urban outfitters or something like that they're usually famous for um selling those uh like that selling those as well those records, um, record players vinyl record players and then lastly um this i actually didn't purchase but this is just a bandana that says on the run two um and this is what it looks like and it actually came with my order um because i think you had to order or i'm sorry spend over fifty dollars fifty dollars or more something like that and um that was the promotion that they had going on during the holidays. I don't know if that's what's going on now. I just know that I just saw the actual album and I jumped on it. So I did actually go to the OTR um, 2 concert. That was my first time uh, seeing Beyonce in concert. So, um, and I have other vinyls as well. I actually started um, doing collecting vinyls um, when my uh, father had um, biological father had passed away back in 2018 and he had some vinyls um you know but his vinyls were like um Marvin Gaye and Stevie Wonder and things like that so I thought that it would be really cool to um collect vinyls as well um you know for my generation that maybe I can pass down to you know kids or nieces and nephews and you know kind of open up um uh to their world the beautifulness of our music so that's that but i believe guys that um covers everything i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you um want to see more videos like this i would be glad and happy to do them don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the bell notification don't forget to like comment and share i will link everything down below i'm pretty sure a lot of this stuff is up for grabs okay um so Continue to be blessed, continue to stay strong, continue to wash your hands, continue to stay safe, stay six feet apart, and until the next time you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Be blessed.